So Tania says, I've been dating this guy for a couple months now. And I've been dating this guy for a couple months now. And now he's asking me to move in with him. And I said, no, I'm not ready for that kind of mood, a move. Now he's upset and he told me if I'm not moving in with him, we're done. And I agree, we can just be friends. Was I wrong for not moving in with him? Help me, Matt. No, I mean, if you're not comfortable with that and you're not ready for that, first off, if you're looking for marriage and, you know, you're not... Uh, you know, and he's like, hey, move in with me. And you're not in some kind of weird situation where you need to move in with him or something like that. Then my suggestion is that you, you, you wait until uh, you have some kind of promise of marriage before you end up moving in with him. Because, uh, you, and, and it, you know, if, if it's just been a couple months and it's just like, you know, because because basically, what's going to end up happening is he's going to end up getting a lot of his needs met that he wants to get met that men normally would only get met if they were married. And so, if he's getting those needs met and you're not getting all of your needs met, assuming right now that you want marriage, which uh, I just had a conversation with some woman the other day about this. She's like, "Well, what if I don't want marriage?" And it's like, "Okay." Great, <laughs> like, whatever it doesn't matter, right? And and I'm not advocating that you should or shouldn't want marriage. You know, I think whatever you want is fine. But if you do want marriage, then my suggestion is that you don't get into a situation where he's getting all of his needs met and you're not getting all of yours met. And so I absolutely don't think that uh, it's you're wrong for not wanting to move in with him. I, you know, I don't, I don't think that you should ever just want to move in with a guy just because he wants to, wants you to move in with him. And if he's threatening the relationship because you aren't moving in with him, that's a huge red flag anyway, because he's threatening the relationship. And so you don't want to be with a guy who's ready to throw a relationship away completely because you have a boundary Right, so you put up a boundary, and his reaction is to threaten the entire relationship. That's a, that's a problem. That's a big problem, and so it's good that you know that now, and that you know that that's going to be something that you're going to see more of in the future. If he wants something and you don't want it, he's going to threaten the relationship, and so that's it's good. It's good that you know that now, and so I, you know, I don't know what the rest of your situation looks like. But yeah, I don't think you're wrong at all.